abandoned, but no longer forgotten. Detroit, rushing to wipe out its past, one eyesore at a time. Now that the broke city plans to spend half a billion dollars ripping down thousands of empty homes and buildings, it's raising questions. What happens with all that vacant land? I think it only makes sense that before you clear all that land uh, and, and spend you know, so much of the resources we have available on demolition that you should have a strategy for what that, uh, the reuse of that land. That's why Tom Gaderis and his group took action when two homes came down in their neighborhood. They had a community tree nursery planted on the lots. Ray Johnson lives in the same neighborhood and worries about the two abandoned homes next to his. Living on a block with a lot of vacant land just don't look nice to me. <laughs> so I, I really have homes there with, with decent neighbors, you know. You don't want the uh, riffraff. Johnson says squatters, scrappers, and trash dumpers are drawn to the uninhabited homes. He recently considered moving from his home of 30 years. My wife talked me out. She said it's going to get better. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. The city says removing blight and improving services top its list of priorities. Residents and community activists support that. They just want the focus not only on the tearing down, but on the rebuilding of these neighborhoods. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Detroit.